the 33rd symphony was the very first complete symphony I ever conducted. So it has a, I have a very, uh, very soft spot in my heart for it. Um, this was a piece that, that Mozart wrote after coming back from his trip to Paris. Um, it was at a real turning point in his life. His mother had died just recently, which was a shattering experience for him, although it's not re reflected in very many pieces. There are a couple of uh, intimate pieces where one really senses that he'd gone through something very uh, tragic, but a lot of the music that he wrote um, pursuant to that experience are, are full of, of joy and, and um, the 33rd symphony, by contrast, is scored just for oboe bassoons, horns, and strings. So it's, it's a much more intimate, chamber-like piece. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's characterized by tremendous grace uh, and beauty of sonority. Mozart's gifts as an orchestrator are often ignored um, in comparison to composers who wrote for much larger orchestras later on, but his ear for sonority was second to none, and it's, it's wonderful what he does in terms of texture and color uh, with, such, with such small forces. He uses, he uses them with such delicacy and, and uh, imagination.